In this video, I'll explain how to add a key value pair to a list using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the key and value pairs that we can create with lines two to six of the code. So in line two of the code, I'm creating a vector of three different keys. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called key. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector containing three vector objects called key one, key two, and key three. Similar to that, we can run line five of the code to create a new vector object, which is called value. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector of three values, A, B, and C. Now, if you want to add a key value pair to a list, then we first need to create an empty list, as you can see in line eight of the code. So if you run line eight of the code, a new list object is appearing at the top right, which is called my list one. And at this point, this list contains zero elements. So now in the next line of code in line nine, we can add a key value pair to the first index position of this list. And we can do that using square brackets. So in the beginning of line nine, we subset our list at the first position. Then we subset the first element of our keys and we also subset the first element of our values. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that our list is updated and we can print this updated list to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a list with one key and value pair and we have used the first key of our vector of keys, key one, and the first value of our vector of values, the letter A. So in this first example, I have explained how to add a key value pair to an empty list using the R programming language. However, it's also possible to add multiple key value pairs one by one to a list. And we can do that as I show you in the next example, starting in line 12 of the code. So again, I'm first creating an empty list by running line 12. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right that an empty list is appearing, which is called my list two. And then in lines 13 to 15, I'm using a for loop. And in this for loop, I'm specifying that I want to add a key value pair for each iteration of the loop. So if you run lines 13 to 15, our list is updated and we can print the updated list by running line 16 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that we have created a list with three list elements, which are called key one, key two, and key three. And the values in these list elements correspond to our vector of values and are the letters A, B, and C. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.